That's your man of thoughts. Hey, Joe here. Brian here with the gun shop. And listen, what type of handgun are you looking for? Uh, we get this question all the time when people come in, especially the uh, newbies, new time, first time, new time. First time gun buyers coming in, uh, they're looking for a handgun. They just got all kinds of bad information from their neighbors and- the, Cousins, the, friends, brothers, sister told them to get something. Yeah, their barbers, cousins, mm -hmm. uncles, homeless guy down the street. Exactly. In the webs. <laughs> um, so listen, we always come in, we're asking them what type of gun are you, are you looking for? Mm -hmm. um, it does change what you should buy. Yes. So we're just going to break it down, make it simple for you real quick. When we more, than, more than like what kind of gun you're looking for is what are you using the gun for? Exactly. Right. Um, that's what we get into next is what are you going to use it for? Right. Um, if you're just looking for something to go to the range, have a good time, pick up a new hobby, get a plankster type gun right here. Show this one. Well, 22, this one's actually a Smith & Wesson Victory. It's a 22 target pistol. Target gun. That was really actually really Very cool. badass. <laughs> um, that's fun for going to the range. Uh, yeah. Would I use something like that for personal protection in the house? No. no. Would not be my first choice. 22. Yeah. If it was the only gun I had, it's the best gun you had at I that guess, point yeah. in time, but would it be my choice? Would I come in and buy that for personal protection? No. Not at all. Uh, but if you're wanting your first gun to just be something to practice with, that would be something you should look at, something like that. I would be, depends what you're practicing for. Yeah. Well, that's true too. No. Yeah. yeah, to me, if I was target shooting, yeah, if I was just doing target shooting, a new hobby, something like that. What if you wanted one that you wanted to do two things, like go to the range and target shoot and be your home defense gun? Aha, then I would go with something like the SIG right here. Right. Show them that one. Yes. This is a cool one. This is much cooler. Full size gun right there. It's a nine millimeter, mm -hmm. full size. Uh, it's got some extra weight to it. It's got some length. Um, it's more user friendly mm -hmm. to shoot. So what? Less recoil, Less recoil. longer Not, sight radius. You can put a red dot on it, make it easier shooting. Awesome gun for home protection. Oh, I will bring something up that everyone gets told the wrong thing when they're first talking to somebody about guns, especially like old school thoughts. The bigger the gun, assuming they shoot the same bullet, the bigger the gun, the less the recoil is in general. Yes. So it's not like if you had a gun that was this big and shot 45, no, the 45 would have more recoil. This is a nine. But if you have a smaller gun than this, a lot smaller gun, and it still shoots nine, it's going to have a lot more recoil. Yes. Yeah. Less fun to shoot. I was using that, what's that movie? Men in Black? Yeah. The little noisy cricket, <laughs> noisy noise smith cricket. Yeah. When he finally shoots it, throws him back like a yeah. city block. A little tiny gun with a big round or whatever that thing was shooting. It's, this, the gun, the, the slide, the springs in there, everything else absorb the energy. Yeah, it's like a <clears throat> rag. It's catching it. Yes. When you get to these small ones, now you're absorbing the energy. Right. It's punching you. But in. these are still aren't bad. Now, if you're looking for a gun, that's going to be a concealed carry gun. Yeah, but if you want like a car gun or a regular carry gun. Yeah, a car gun is something you're going to conceal carry. Um, now let's say you can only have one. You're only going to buy your budgets for one gun. All right. So you're looking for something concealed carry, but you still need to go practice with it. I'd go with something. Probably this size, like yeah. this Taurus here. GX4. I'll let you. Yeah, He's Vanna. I'm the Vanna. I'm the pretty one. So, good size, easy to conceal. Now, why are these newer carry guns better than old school ones? And why you can kind of flex them into multiple rolls is because the capacity on these newer ones. So this one holds 11 or 13, but a lot of these now hold 12, 13, 15 rounds in these yeah. little tiny carry guns. But that's still something. Good for concealed carry. Still put it on the nightstand. Mm -hmm. Go to the range, have a good time with it. Mm -hmm. Not as good of a time as with the full size, right. but like you're not going to carry that. Though. Yeah, that's not going to beat you up as bad on mm -hmm. the range. No. You can still have a good time with it. Mm -hmm. So very cool, man. I like these house guns. These are my favorite market events. Uh, the other caveat is come in, put them all in your hands, because that is oh, yeah. a huge difference to what you're going to like and not like. And just because the internet says you're going to like this best. Come in, put it in your hands. Most of the time, it, your opinions change quite a bit when you get here. And everybody has an opinion. You know what they say about opinions, right? Yes. Yes, we're not going to say it now. But everybody tells you, you got to go buy. Said whatever. Take your backside. If your uh -huh. friend tells you this is the best gun, they have no idea what they're talking about. Because yes. it's subjective. It's like yeah. me telling you what's the best car. Yeah, it's what you like. It's got to fit your hands. It's got to be comfortable to you. Fit your needs, your budget, right. everything. Right. I mean, what it's for. the Taurus here is a great little gun. That's inexpensive. Yeah, it, it kills that market. It dominates yeah. that little sub market, but you can't compare that to that, you know? Yeah. So then if you're looking for just a concealed carry gun, let's say you have the nightstand gun, the range toy, whatever it is, and you're looking for something just to conceal carry. No matter what you're wearing, you can probably carry this gun. <laughs> this little bad boy, this little Ruger LCP Max. LCP Max. 
It's in 380, which is nine millimeters short. It's one of our most popular guns. Yes. I carry so one of those. And yeah, it's a sub $400 gun. Mm -hmm. 11 rounds of that little thing. 11 rounds of 380. Now this shoots a smaller round than these guys here, or at it's least a less powerful round. Just a little shorter. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. No. Um, easy to conceal. Mm -hmm. Again, you can carry that with just about anything. And you know, Brian carries that wearing this Speedo. I do, I actually carry two of them. People have to wait. You're gonna have to cut that out. You're gonna leave it. No, there. I'm leaving it. He's leaving it. Right? So, but it's very easy to conceal. It's lightweight. Mm -hmm. um, this one has surprising. Usually, these little pocket mouse guns have a ton of recoil. This one is one where they beeped it up just enough that it gets rid of that bite. So it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not bad. We both shot it. We mm -hmm. did a previous video. If you scroll through our videos of shooting that, um, it's not bad at all. Now, is this gonna be the gun you would buy to go shoot at the range all the time? No. It's not, especially if you have larger hands, it's not enjoyable to take to the range. If you're shoot. getting two fingers, you're doing good on this one. Yes. Um, so again, that's something you take it, fire a couple mags through it, get used to it, get familiar with it. Um, that's going to be your concealed carry gun. Right. So um, again, so if you're looking for deep concealed carry, something like this. You want in between kind of carry yeah. gun, car gun size. Something out. this size. A little bit good at everything. Nightstand, range toy, Go full right here. Mark. Yeah, capacity. What's capacity on that? 17. 17. Yeah. And they have extended so, mags too. You can yeah. put light. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about that too. Whether you like lights, lasers, and all that stuff, you have the ability to add all that stuff to these kinds of guns. You don't really have those abilities to add stuff to those at all, really. We can add to that. When you do add your lights and lasers to your concealed carry guns like these, one thing you have to think about is getting a holster. Right. Which is impossible. Yes. Um, unfortunately, these light manufacturers, they change their design every other week. <laughs> Um, so the holster yeah, the manufacturers Gen 3 are like, or the Gen 33? Like, yeah. I don't really know. So the holster manufacturers are pretty much like, yeah, screw you. We're not going to keep up with that. You got to custom it. You got to make it yeah, custom. So you got to find a custom holster manufacturer mm -hmm. and do it that Pay way. Pay a lot more for it. So yeah. hopefully that answers some of your questions. Yeah. Again, it's pretty. Come in, see them. Have that conversation. Put them in your hands. Don't believe the internet all the time. Yes. Even though you're probably watching this on the internet, we're still telling you to come look at them in person. Yes. Um, Again, even if you walk into a gun shop or something like that and they tell you this is the best gun for you, yeah, go find a new gun shop. Yeah. Put them in your hands. Yeah. And if you put it in your hands and you like it and you say, all right, yeah. that fits you well, that's a good option, then that, that's, yes. But and We have customers that come in here on. looking for a, a six, $700 concealed carry gun. That's what they had in their mind. And they put one of these in their hands that are well mm -hmm. under $400. Like, well, I like the way that feels mm -hmm. better. And money, once you get past like a few hundred bucks, 300 bucks, let's say, it's kind of... Not a whole lot changes. No. Mm. Quality wise, anyways. Yeah. Once you go to that thousand dollar mark, that's I yeah. think when you start noticing a big difference. Yeah. So and those are usually bigger guns too. You don't usually see thousand dollar carry guns. And when you do, they're heavy. <laughs> yeah, which makes counterproductive. Which defeats the purpose then. So we 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 uh, combat these groupthink internet theories all the time. It's like an ongoing thing. Yes. It kills us. <laughs> Again, opinions are like. Those your things. backside. Your Everybody backside. has one. Yes. Uh, please come up with your own. Yes. Make Be your own educated decision. consumer. Um, mm -hmm. Figure out what it's for. Go put them in your hands. And figure out yeah. what you like. Talk to the experts. Folks, have a great day. I can't. I can't. You're like naturally high every day. <laughs> Hi.